You know, just in case anything bad happens, we'll just uh, put this right here. Just, <laughs> just, in, just in case. Juma, I miss you so much. Yes, baby, Juma, I miss so much. Baby, Juma, I miss so much, Steven. Juma, I miss you so much. Yes, Juma, I miss you so much. Yes, baby, Juma, I miss so much. Baby, Juma, I miss so much, Steven. Juma, I miss you so much. Yes. Juma, I miss you so much. Yes, baby, Juma, I miss so much. Baby, Juma, I miss so much, Steven. Juma, I miss you so much. Yes. Juma, I miss you so much. Yes, baby, Juma, I miss so much. Baby, Juma, I miss so much, Steven. Juma. Dude, I've literally always wanted to do this before, but I just never had enough books because I'm not a smart man. Just kidding, but I have always wanted to do the freaking thing where you hollow out the book and make a little hidey hole, dude. Uh, I got these books from the thrift store because they were cheap, and I didn't want to spend a ton of money, so I was like, let me just get the most book for my buck, you know? And get these thick boys because they're all the same price, you know? I, I, I would just like to go on record saying that I bought these uh, for the thickness and not for the subject matter, okay? Just want to make that abundantly clear. Also, who would ever freaking own a book about how the world is flat, dude? Who, in their right mind, would own m one or multiple books about how the Earth is not round? Oh, apparently the uh, the crafty crafty panda clientele, <laughs> crafty panda, would own multiple, not just one, but multiple books on how the Earth is flat. Interesting. <laughs> What the hell, dude? All right, so first things first, we got our freaking little glue glocky. It's warming up over here, dude. So I think we're just gonna start by gluing these books together. I think this would work a lot better if we glued, like, I think you're supposed to, like, when you make one of these, you're supposed to, like, put resin on the pages so, like, they don't just flop open. Since we're just gonna be gluing the covers together, you know? They didn't do that in the video, so I'm not gonna do it either. I think I need more glue. Put her there, pal. I'm a professional. Look at me go. Two hand in this bad boy. I'm a professional. I forgot how this machine works. I feel like we need a lot of this, but I might just be wasting it, and it also might just dry in two seconds. Who's to say, really? Oh, God. No, no, no. No, no, no. Trust me. I'm a professional. Oh, God. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Professional. Okay, all right. Uh, that looks good, right? Hopefully that stays. <laughs> Don't I look like a professional right now? What the hell? Two anglers. Thank you for a wonderful stay. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Hope to be back Spelled again. a couple words wrong there, bud, but that's interesting. Hopefully that's glued well enough because I'm just gonna continue on and glue this one next. This one I'm gonna speed run. Pump, pump, pump. Put your back into it. Put your whole glue machine body into it, baby. Yeah, there you go, there you go, there Is you there go. Is there a faster way to make glue happen? Holy hell. It's like you think I have all day. Uh oh, ran out. <laughs> I'm a professional, don't worry. Okay, and then we'll just, uh, which way? This way, right? There you go. No one would ever discover all of my secrets that I'm gonna put in this book thing. All right, so I gave that a couple minutes to dry. Well, now we got our book unit relatively stuck together. I mean, it flops open all willy-nilly, but that's just failure by design. Nothing that bothers Miss Crafty Panda over here. Now we're gonna freaking cut out uh, some of these pages, I guess, and hide little things in there. What do they even hide in this video? What do you even put in there? Let's see. She's sipping her tea. Oh, she got the perkies in there, dude? I didn't know you had it in you. In, in your book, anyway. No, she's just hiding little nemonems in there. Like, <laughs> why? <laughs> that doesn't seem, that doesn't seem, um, vacuum sealed. You're gonna get ants in your literature. They also spray painted the books. I feel like if you were trying to hide your candy, <laughs> If you're trying to hide something, it would look less conspicuous if you didn't paint it, because that makes it look like a whole thing, right? Anyways, I do as I'm told here on this fine day of our Lord and Savior. All right, let's hollow out a book. Is this even going to be, like, possible? <laughs> I've never tried to hollow out literature, be fair. Oh, God, seems dangerous for my hands and my well-being. Nobody better find my candy in here. How deep can you go in that bad boy? There you go. That's what I like to hear myself say. I have no idea how deep these cuts are going, but hopefully deep enough. Just like my poetry. Oh, God. Paper's difficult to slice. Okay, all right, okay, all right. You got this, no worries. Who's worrying? You need to take one of my secret pills I hid in that book. I mean, no, I didn't. Let feel your troubles melt away. All right, let's see if this did anything. The world is flat. A brief history of the 21st century. <laughs> All you non-believers. Okay, it didn't even go through that many pages. This might be more difficult than I anticipated. All right, so that was about five. <laughs> <laughs> Epic. Just keep digging. What do you have to be a superhero to do this? Jesus. Superheroes don't have hidden peanut M&Ms. They would share. This is fine. Everything's fine. I won't be cutting a finger off today by accident or otherwise. Everything 
is gonna be fine. Everything's a-okay. I am a very passionate man when it comes to how round I think the world is personally, and destroying this literature gives me more satisfaction than it should. I don't agree with you in your thoughts. <coughs> should you eat paper from the thrift store in a pandemic? Why won't you die? Uh-oh, that was dangerous. Always cut towards yourself. That's what I learned. Oh god, what I learned in boating school today is- Oh, what did I just do? That was scary. Oh my god, this is so inefficient. The moral of the story today is Stop hiding things. <laughs> we're all friends here. All right, we're making progress very slowly. Okay, that was so scary. Oh my God, why does that keep happening? Can't you lock this or something? Jesus, how's a man supposed to slice his literature in peace? Oh my God, that's not safe. I think I'm just breaking it. All right, so as you can see, we're making some progress here. We got a little bit of this uh, propaganda cut out. Trying to iron out the truth, trying to iron out the entire earth with your freaking words here, dude, not on my watch. We could almost uh, hide our little, uh, whoops. Our little glue sticks in here, dude. Freaking, what a handy dandy little idea. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put, try to put some glue on the sides of the books so they can't just like flop open and make it more like structurally sound. Let's freaking see how that goes. A little bit here, like on the side. I need more glue. We don't, uh oh, fuck. <laughs> I was gonna say, we don't need to put a lot, just like enough to hold the book closed. And then I squirted it all over the gall dang place. Classic me, you know. This is very messy. <laughs> maybe I will paint over it just be to cut, try to cover up all the imperfections I've created. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have glued this one at the top also. Whoops, since I'm not done destroying it. Doesn't that look good? That, uh -oh. I think I'm about to glue it to my table by accident. Doesn't that just look clean? Can I even continue to do this now? Have I squandered myself? Have I squandered my potential? Nothing like giving a book a good stab, you know, on a Thursday afternoon. I hate reading and I want it to know. All right, so it's the next day, even though I'm wearing the same clothes, there's no time for judgment here. We're doing important craft things. So I painted the books and I freaking thought that painting the books was a bad idea because it would look less natural and just, yeah, it was basically, I was right. <laughs> um, not only only does it look less natural, it just looks horrible, <laughs> dude. Like, the paint did not stick to the books at all. And, uh, worst of all, you can still read all the horrific titles that I chose <laughs> for this project, which is unfortunate, dude. Because that was actually the only reason I thought it would be good to paint them, because, I mean, if you're gonna have a little hidey hole uh, next to your bed or whatever at all times, I don't necessarily know that these are the books I'd want to sit <laughs> out in the open at all times like they're readily available for me. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, uh, yeah, the paint just didn't really stick to the books at all. The glue, it didn't get covered up. Also, the glue didn't really work <laughs> on the sides <laughs> to hold them closed. <laughs> Basically, every step of the way, down to choosing the books, I freaking, I fumbled. I would say this is a failure. Functionality-wise, um, yeah, you got this horrific art project that you can, uh, you, you can hide your, uh, your medicine in. <laughs> it technically, in terms of a, a life hack or whatever, it works. No one's gonna f find them, um, in case you were worried. Legos just all over the freaking gosh dang gosh forsaken place around your house and also lose your keys all the time? No. The answer for me is no to both. Because I'm an adult and these are childish problems. But I'm still gonna freaking t take it for a spin and try to solve these imaginary problems that only a feeble-minded fool could have. Not like me, who's got mature problems. All right, I can tell when the glue gun's ready to go because it gets nice and drippy down here. <laughs> and I figured I would take it upon myself to uh, to modernize this uh, situation here because losing your keys, dude, that's some boomer nonsense. Keys are a thing of the past, dude. These freaking, these Gen Z kids, they be starting their car with Bitcoin and cleaning, they be using Apple Juice's floor cleaner. So we're gonna freaking take the key out of the equation. We're gonna use our sucking stick, our Gen Z sucking stick, you know the one. And we're gonna make it so we never uh, lose this bad boy again, okay? All right, so we're gonna take our little Lego piece here and we're just gonna, oh, get this out of here. Get your little drippies out of here, bro. There you go. Just put a little bit on there, like that. Put it on our sucking stick. Oh, dude, this is gonna be revolutionary. I fuck it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wait, does this still work? Actually, yes, it still works. Okay, I was gonna say, I glued the Lego the opposite. <laughs> I cannot believe that I've done this. I was gonna glue it the other way, but luckily, 
these things actually attach whatever way you want for children. <laughs> simple-minded children who could probably figure this out better than I could, it would seem. Anyways, we're just gonna glue this one the other way <laughs> than I originally intended. We're just gonna put a little line of glue on this bad boy, okay? Eh, more like a glob, but it's fine. Can't even do a simple line. I should be fired from a cannon. Glue this bad boy right to the wall where it's safe and I can't mess it up, like so. We take our little vape stick, Freaking sticker right there, or or wherever. How do these work? And then better, 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 bingo <laughs> was his name up. I will freaking never lose this bad boy again. It's always gonna be here, assuming that I put it here and remember to put it here and don't lose it, even though there's a Lego attached to it. And I need you to stop thinking about problems and think about progress, because that's what this is right here. Fuck. It took off part of the wall. I just had some weird deja vu right now, but this has definitely never happened to me before. Failure, I mean, in general. Nothing has ever gone wrong when I'm in charge. <laughs> In this clip, they seem to be having some sort of domestic problem. I, it's just, it seems like it's more between them. I mean, he, he is, he's a messy guy. He's messing up the house, dude, but I'm gonna leave them, leave that to them. I'm not getting involved. an idea! Do you see it up there? Whatever. <laughs> Let's make a little terrarium inside of this idea. Whatever the hell that guy's doing. Alright, so first we gotta get into this light bulb somehow. I don't know how to do and hopefully I don't hurt myself. Please don't break the glass in my hand. How did he do it? He's got a screwdriver. I'm making sounds. Are sounds good in this scenario? I didn't value my hands anyway. I feel like this little cover thing has to come off. Okay, that did something. Let me inside you. Oh, see? Okay, oh, I got half of it out. Nice. <laughs> Split. Better than nothing. Oh, this is gonna be the best little forest I've ever put inside an idea. Can you just leave the, the mechanism? Holy hell, these things are impenetrable. It's like you're not supposed to be doing this. Okay, all right, now we have to remove the light bulb part, which should be oh, easier. Uh-oh, <laughs> is all of this gonna stab me? How do you get this part out? The fuck, is it connected somehow? How do light bulbs work? How do ideas work? Oh God, what if I don't know? This is not what I wanted. Can you just, I'm trying. Okay, well, I think all of this is just gonna, this is not safe. Not all ideas can be good ideas. How the hell do you disconnect? I'm a professional. Okay, well, it's loose now, I think. Dude, this is like making a boat in a bottle, dude. This is impossible. What are you connected to? What are you waiting for, huh? What are you, what am I pulling on right now? I don't even know. You're telling me a panda can do all this? All right, here we go. We got him on the run now, boys. This is like what it sounds like when I have an idea in my head, too. There's just one piece that's too big to come out. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right, well that might just have to stay in there. <laughs> okay, so our next move, I think, is to, oh, uh -oh. <laughs> is to not stab myself, so far so good, and get some, of, I'm just gonna borrow some of this dirt from this here plant, you know, put her there, pal. This'll be fine, you don't need all this. You see, you would think like, because the word crafting, you know, when I do these craft videos, you might think that there's going to be a lot of creation going on, but really, it feels like it's mostly destruction. Just something I'm thinking about right now. Oh man, this kind of has me wondering, when's someone going to hollow me out and fill me with dirt? How much dirt do we need? I mean, like, I know plants are living things, but they're still things as far as I'm concerned, and even though they're alive, they're smaller than me, which means I'm in charge. All right, I think this is enough soil for whatever the hell we're doing. I mean, that looks pretty good, right? A little, uh... Okay, so we got our little dirt boy idea base, and then I have this little fella here. Like I said, very much alive, still a thing though, and I'm in charge because bigger. I'd put my son in a light bulb if he looked at me wrong. I don't know if I'd believe that, but anyway, I think... I mean, you could, little guy, you don't mind if I just like take one of these little leaves you got here. Maybe this one in the back. No one will even know. I don't even know if this is a real plant to my knowledge. I mean, do I look like a freaking botanist? Uh, no. Do I look like an opportunist? 
Hopefully, because look at me, I'm building a- <laughs> I put it in upside down, that looks kind of stupid. Okay, well, I mean, look at theirs, and then look at mine. Like, wh who's ri- who's is looking better here? <laughs> this is- <laughs> Listen, if this isn't mission accomplished, look at this thing, dude. I mean, look, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but you got to admit, my little plant guy, he's look, looking pretty small and vulnerable in there, all encased in glass. You know, if he gets unhappy in there, he could have one of these little mood stabilizers there. See, freaking looks like a little paradise in there, dude. And if you had like a, a tiny little guy, you could put him in there and just like watch him be encased in there, see through, do whatever you want to him if he was stuck in there. All right, baby, time to make a needlessly complicated coaster, I guess. I'm just gonna have to go ahead and assume that vinyl records are not flammable. This is, uh, Christmas songs. My friend Eddie bought this, and I don't know why, because it's been in my, uh, hands for years at this point, so hopefully he wasn't too attached to it. <laughs> Sorry, Santa. Looks like they just took, like, one of these. I don't even know if this part is necessary, but we're gonna just... Scratch the record, I guess, so that it wasn't a waste, uh, <laughs> if nothing else. And, uh, you know, just in case anything bad happens, we'll just uh, put this right here. Just, <laughs> just, in, just in case. All right, and then we'll freaking uh, just uh, get this from the bottom, I suppose. Maybe the top would be more convenient. Is this doing anything? I don't know if this is going to work. It's kind of bubbling. What the hell was that? Did it just move? Is this toxic? Oh, there we go. If I bend it, it's working. Just gotta apply a little pressure. Dude, I'm like Salvador Dali, except pointless and stupid. Ah! <laughs> what the hell? It just snapped! Why would it snap? I thought you were melting, bro. Oh, there we go, though. Okay, that's like a full 90 degrees. Oh, how do you turn this off? I don't know. <laughs> it does whatever it wants. Nobody light a match. Okay, that is much uglier than I thought it would be. <laughs> what the hell? It's like completely freaking cooked to smithereens. And it cracked. It didn't even just melt. It's broken. <laughs> that did not work how I wanted it to at all. All right, well, let's at least see how it freaking works in practice. Loomis, are you excited to see it? Nope. <laughs> he does not like how this smells, and I don't blame him, dude. All right, so we'll just put it right here on the couch. Wow. Isn't that nice? Dude, that holds my coffee way better than any other way for my coffee to sit here that I could even imagine, dude. Even just like, like that. Like that would never do. You know? Can you put this on? I thought this was a legit hat. <laughs> I don't know from the angle I was looking at it maybe looked like a hat. Maybe they should have made it into a hat instead. What did you do? I cooked it. Why? Because <laughs> they did it and I had to do what they did. Who's they? Crafty Panda. Stop watching the YouTube. <laughs>telling me the dog bit the tennis ball again like it's supposed to which for some reason they thought makes it unusable for the dog anymore so now that the dog has chewed it up we must turn it into hangers for stuff i don't know dude i'm not sure that crafty panda's logic fully resonates with me but i'm just gonna trust him okay let's just pop this bad boy open oh my god you didn't tell me tennis balls were soda pop what the f is this normal stuff that people know happens <laughs> I did freaking tennis players be like, oh yeah, dude, it happens all the time. That was so unexpected, I'm not gonna lie to you. For some reason, I also thought these would smell good, which they don't, so. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know anything about tennis. What I don't know, also, is why the hell we're making hangers out of tennis balls, but whatever. Is this gonna pop and explode on me too? Okay, apparently it's indestructible. My bad. Didn't know that either. I should really do some research before I start filming, I guess. Okay, don't cut my hand. I'll be angry. I don't want to go to the doctor today. Okay, just gonna make a, a fine slit. Not a great one, just a fine slit right here. I mean, honestly, this might be big enough. I mean, I don't really know what our goal is, but you're just gonna... Put your friggin' screwdriver in there. Sick, dude. What the hell? <laughs>
What is this haunted ass ending, dude? Who will play with us? Uh, not me. <laughs> unless, unless that's what you want. <laughs> Scary. Scary sports equipment, dude. Freaking thank you guys for watching this video. I'm pretty sure I failed it. Every single craft that I tried this time, I guess you can't win them all. Nothing has ever gone wrong when I'm in charge. <laughs> we got me st stinky paint books. We got me freaking stupid light bulb thing full of cream. I don't know why I even did that. And my room smells like v fire and paint and just a whole bunch of different flavors of failure. I think the real prize is the crafts we tried along the way. Or maybe Crafty Panda just doesn't make good crafts. I don't know, dude. Maybe it's their fault. I might go with that. Thank you guys for freaking watching it, dude. Side note, I would just, I would very much like to make an actual hollowed out book some other time, if ever permitted, if the opportunity arises. But until then, freaking thank you guys for freaking watching this video, dude. It was a lot of fun to make. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did hit the like button, it helps me out a lot. I always appreciate it. If you want to help me out even more, dude, freaking click one of these videos so the algorithm will actually like me a little bit more that would that would be very but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace